Hey there, Rotan here, and oh boy, this is a big one today, friends. I'm excited to discuss this mount for a variety of reasons, not only because it's probably the most involved mount collection process I've covered so far on this channel, but also because of my current opinions surrounding the mount. So this is a new Lava Mammoth mount added in Dragonflight, called the Loyal Mag Mammoth. Magma. Mammoth. Mag Mammoth. Alright, I see you. The process to obtain it is a mixture of rep grinding and secret finding, so let's dive right in. Before diving in though, subscribe if you want to see more Dragonflight mount content like this, and check out my other mount guides if you'd like. If you leave a suggestion in the comments, I may just make a video on it. I've done it before. Alright, so the first step in getting this mammoth is to grind rep with both black dragons, Rathion and Sibelion. This does mean along the way that you'll also unlock some good loot and, more importantly, the ability to get black dragon skills for all of your dragon riding dragons. Woohoo! For the mammoth, you'll need max rep with each dragon, which is to be considered a true friend. There are a handful of ways to gain reputation with these dragons. You can pledge allegiance to one for the week and turn in a key, complete weekly quests, kill the rare enemy spawns in the obsidian citadel, and farm key fragments and casings to turn in further keys an unlimited amount of times. Also, some enemies will drop rare items which can be turned in for rep rewards. That's enough gabbing for me today. The first obsidian key turn in for the week rewards 1000 rep, and the other weekly quests give 2500 rep each. The dragon you pledge to will have three weekly quests, and the other will only have one. This means that doing the weekly quest for your pledged rep and turning in that first key gives a total of 8500 rep, which is more than needed to level your rep up once, as only 8400 reputation is required per level. By just doing these, it will take up to 10 weeks to get maxed out on rep. To cut this time down, I would recommend completing the weeklies for both dragons and also farming additional key fragments and casings to turn in more keys, as each additional key for the week rewards 250 rep to whichever dragon you turn it into. Still, it took me about 6 weeks to get this mount, and I farmed the area quite a bit. When you reach True Friend status, the Rep Quartermasters will have a new secret item available to purchase. From Sibelian's Quartermasters, Samia Inkling, and Zaldras, you can now purchase Nether Forged Lava Boots for 800 gold. From Rathion's Quartermasters, Lorena and Atticus Bell, you can now purchase Sturdy Obsidian Shades, also 800 gold. Take both of these items to Reese Lightfingers, not sure exactly how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going with Reese, who is located in the main area where you first pledge allegiance for the week. From him, you can now buy the Mag Mammoth Harness, the final item needed to get this mount. Once you have the harness, you need to take it to a tame mag mammoth. There are four in the Waking Shores. However, I've read reports that only this location has a mammoth that works for the mount. Kill the Jardin that's guarding the mammoth and right-click him to hop on. You'll be entered into a vehicle mode where you must then open your inventory and use the harness to immediately be given the mount. Now you can exit this weird fake mammoth vehicle and mount your own new loyal mag mammoth. Phew! Well, that was a lot to cover today, but the reward was worth it. Or was it? While the textures of this mount are awesome, and the current exclusivity makes me feel cool when I ride around on it, I personally feel tired of mammoth mounts. I covered another mammoth in a previous video, and we also have a handful of mammoths from multiple other expansions. I guess if I had to pinpoint why I'm tired of these mounts, it would probably be because they still have the same animations and skeletons as they did way back in Wrath of the Lich King, their introduction 15 years ago. Other newer versions of old mounts and styles have gotten upgrades, but these big chunky boys just haven't. I'd make some analogy here about a new paint job on an old car, but I don't even know enough about cars to try that. So that's that, a quick overview on how to get the Loyal Mag Mammoth. Even with my harsh criticism, I still like the mount, and I'm glad I have it. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment on what I can cover next. Take care.